Hello, and welcome to the ride. I see you're into the hear no evil, see no evil philosophy of life. That should serve you very well down on the censorship floor. How many people will be playing? The optimum number for play is three. How fortunate. How many questions would you like to play? Seven or 21? 13? Okay, great. Go ahead, player one, and type in your name. Perfect, thank you. Player two, you are next to type in your name. Thank you very much. Player three, I await the touch of your fingers. Thanks a lot. Here are the keys you will be using to buzz in. Again, welcome to the ride, and I'll see you at the bottom. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack is brought to you by the Backwards Christian Lyrics Coalition. We'll find a satanic reference in your children's music, whether it's there or not. And now, here's your host, the one, the only, Cookie! Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Just a word of warning, I'm not going to censor myself here, so you might want to cover your own eyes and ears, okay? Okay, first off, got to give you your screws. Here's a bunch for all three of you. Now listen up, and I'm going to tell you why I'm passing these out. The first time a question comes up that you think might be on the difficult side, buzz in immediately and start pounding on the S key. That's S for screws. You're going to be shooting these puppies into the screen, totally annihilating the question and answers. Then you're going to make your opponent answer the question whether they can read any of it or not. So if you're not the one pounding on the S key, you better be trying to read everything fast before it's gone. And that's Flackjack. <laughs> All right, it's time to learn the seven naughty words, because we're taking on censorship. Okay, player three, hit your buzzer. Let's find out how much this one... We're calling this one... Censorship. More like censorship. Okay, hang tight. We're talking about $3,149 here. Here we go. If today's censors had the same job duties as the first Roman censors, which of these would they be doing? Torturing the doors, photographing Robert Maplethorpe, sentencing the Smothers Brothers to prison, or counting copies of Hustler? Player one, hit it! The Smothers Brothers? I think Mom always liked right answers better. Player two, player two, grab it! 41, 42, how does she do that? Uh, I mean, that, that, that's disgusting, don't look! The original censors took census, which means they counted things, and they took a break to read the articles. Player here's your category. Keep your censorship off my private parts. You know, political correctness has gotten way out of hand. There's even a human muscle named the PC muscle. If you're having problems with your PC muscle, what's the best PC term to use in describing it? The urinarily challenged muscle, the anally capable muscle, the mammarily fixated muscle, or the muscles from Brussels? Take a shot, player. Okay, player two, who's getting it? Okay, player one, you've been screwed. Which one's it gonna be? One Number four, let's see. Now, this would be Jean-Claude Van Damme. And all I have to say about Jean-Claude is yummy. <laughs> Play player three, do it. Urinarily challenged. Wow, looks like you're quite the cunning linguist. The PC muscle, or the pubococcygeal muscle, controls the flow of urine from the bladder and contributes to greater sexual pleasure in women, without offending anyone at all. Player 3, it's all on your shoulders. The category is... Censorship and Hardwood. So, you want to see the question? Yeah, me too. Here we go. If you tie a blue ribbon around the old oak tree, what cause are you supporting? Freedom of religion, freedom of the press, freedom of expression online, or NAMBLA?
The correct answer is... The Blue Ribbon Campaign is for free speech online. You should consider publishing photos of your oak tree on your homepage, because none of the online freaks will ever go outside to see it. Okay, player one, pick a winner. Ah, you blew it. Here's your category. I'll wash your thesaurus out with soap. And right this way, please. Which of these is not a dirty word? Slatternly, abluted, bedraggled, or squalid? Player one. Abluted means washed clean. So it's not really dirty. Unless you say something is f***ing abluted. Player one, you have the honors. Wow, player one, you just set yourself up to win or lose a lot of money. Players two and three, step aside. Player one, time to play this or dad. The category for this dis or dad is... I see no evil, but I can smell it a mile away. Okay, I'm gonna list off seven people, and for each one, I want you to tell me if they're... Someone who sees no evil, someone who hears no evil, or someone who neither sees nor hears evil. As each one comes up, if it's someone who just sees no evil, press 1. If it's someone who just hears no evil, press 2. If it's both, press 3. If you're not sure, press 4. For each right answer, you get some cash. And you're gonna lose some for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. Okay, you got 30 seconds to nail all seven. When the wire fills up, you're out of time. Let's do it. Stevie Wonder sees no evil here. Oedipus! Ray Charles! Ludwig von Beethoven! The Who's Tommy! Oh yes, you rock. Check it out. So, player one's in the lead. Alright, let's see how long this lasts. All right, player two, buzz in, give us a value. Coming up. Tipper Gore. Here we go. Say Tipper Gore treats her husband Al to a $50 dinner. If Tipper Gore is a good tipper, what is the smallest amount she should leave as a tip? $5, $7.50, $8.75, or $10? Up to you, play. Three, who would you like to screw? You gotta answer it, player two. One, two, three, or four. Three, huh? Let's see it. No, but the important thing is, 875 will get you into a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. I'm not kidding. Just 875 for all that. <laughs> player one. All yours, player one. 750? Hmm. Yep, yeah, that, that'd be the customary 15% tip. Which leaves her and Al just enough money to buy a few Two Life Crew albums to burn when they get home. Player one, it's up to you. Snag a question. This one's called... I understand moral, but what's turpitude? You know that song by Ice-T called Cop... C hey, lady, you, you can't come in here. What are you do? Hey, don't put the... What, what are you... Ow! I'm covered in stickers. Here, look at this. Ow, my short hairs. <clears throat> Parental advisory explicit lyrics. Who's going around slapping these stickers on everything? The FCC, the NRA, the PMRC, or the PCP? <laughs> Player three, make it happen. No, the FCC would come in if I got a radio show, but, I mean, why would I want to hide this bod from my fans? I mean, I'm no Jean-Claude Van Damme, but who is? Uh, Cookie? Yeah? You uh -huh. can't keep talking about this guy. Yeah. I don't know what it no, is. I mean, I, it's I, not. I it's like an obsession. It's like a weird thing. What's with what? the Jean-Claude Van Damme? Yeah. I mean, uh... Okay, I have a problem. I realize I have a problem, but it, it's not like I'm, I'm stalking I him know, or anything. I know, I know. You can't go through the trash. It's Looking just through not people's cool. trash is part of my job. It's a problem for the show. It's a problem oh, for okay. you. Okay, okay. No more Jean-Claude references. I promise. No more, okay? God. <laughs> player one, player two. Who wants it? Player one. 
Good Tipper Gore and the Parents Music Resource Center campaign for the little warning labels on albums. And I have half a mind to take this sticker and shove it up the ass of those mother goody goody no good have nothing better to do head moral majority monkey suckers with a frozen boot. Now there's an explicit warning. Player one, hit your buzzer and select a value for the next question. Alright, that's alright. Okay, here's your category. You have the right to remain silent and minty. Get your buzzer finger ready, here we go. What issue would Scope's monkey trial most likely involve? Slander of the healing power of mouthwash, bootlegging, rinsing, and spitting, immigrating bacteria that causes bad breath, or the evolution of green coloring? Player three, do it! The original Scopes Monkey Trial took place when enlightened Tennesseans jailed biology teacher John Scopes for teaching evolution. <laughs> Apparently creationists also believe that fresh breath is an act of God. Player 3, select the value. Your category is... My fellow congressman, try the veal! Player 2, you're in the red, why don't you do something about that? Considering the specific issue to which congressional gag rules pertained, which of these gag artists' acts would be censored? Rip Taylor organizing a union, Henny Youngman petitioning against slavery, Milton Berle lobbying for Medicare, or Red Skelton dodging the draft? All yours, player. Oh, player one, who's getting screwed? Well, you got a one in four chance, player three. Screw back. All right, let's check it out. It all started when a congressman from South Carolina stood up and proclaimed, Take his freedom, please. <laughs> Until they were deemed unconstitutional, gag rules in the House of Representatives prevented members from considering anti-slavery petitions. First rule, player one, be careful who you screw or it'll come back to haunt you. <laughs> player three, what's this one? Excuse me, I think you just stepped in roadkill. Okay, let me explain how this game works. I'm gonna show you various pairs of things that are somehow related. And you're gonna see a series of items that may or may not connect the pair. Buzz in if you think an item correctly joins the pair. I give you a grand if you're correct, but do choose wisely. You're gonna lose a grand every time you're wrong. We're gonna wrap it all up with a final bonus round worth some extra cash. Pay attention to all the correct answers and you might have a shot at the bonus. You got that? Good, let's motor. An essay and Plankr plastic bag. What unites these two? Score. Washington State and Planky Plank Pecker. into Diamonds and Blank Miner's Daughter. Cars use it and beans cause it. Tampa NHL team and Go Grease Blank. West Michigan City, and skin blank equals miser. To coordinate and blank box cars. Okay, it's bonus time. What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all the FCC Seven Dirty Words, NWA album titles, tennis cards, public utilities, player starting materials, player three you have a master, count it! Everything you need to burn a bunch of bucks.
Well, for the time being, player one, you're on top. It's up to you, player three. Hit your buzzer to select a value. Okay, give it up for... Comstocks and Bondage. Hey, player two, it looks like you're still in debt. Why don't you try playing without the blindfold? If you don't put much stock in the Comstock law, what will you probably do? Stage pornographic performance art, take pornographic photos of yourself, publish pornographic photos on the internet, or mail porno mags to your buddies. Nobody wants it? Come on, player one, you're ahead. Live a little. Don't be a man! Player one, hit it. Performance art, huh? Say, did you ever cover yourself with whipped cream and ask passers-by to flog you with licorice? Oh, I've done that. <laughs> Here's the one you wanted. Also known as the Federal Anti-Obscenity Act, the Comstock Law bans the mailing of indecent materials. You know, it was, uh, it was just too distracting for the postal carriers. Okay, Player 2, what's this one gonna be worth? The category is... Low prices every day! Let's get going. Where is Walmart headquartered? Murfreesboro, Tennessee, Troy, Michigan, Bentonville, Arkansas, or Shreveport, Louisiana? Player two, it's yours! Bentonville, Arkansas. Yep, that'd be Bentonville, all right. Right there in Arkansas. Okay, player two, grab a question value. Buzz in. Welcome to the Jack Attack. I'm gonna be throwing a bunch of words up on the screen. Buzz in when you see two items on the screen that match. Each time you're right, you make money. Each time you're wrong, you lose it. Now here's the thing. Not any two items that go together are necessarily a match. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Sensory Overload. And remember, the match has to fit the clue. Alright, good luck. Okay, let's check out those final scores. Player one! Is your home in desperate need of appliances? Then come on down to Crazy Leo's House of Used Appliances. Right, Crazy Leo? There's a travesty of shaved electric bacon in my shorts. We've got blenders, lots of blenders. Crazy Leo, tell them about our blenders. My toothbrush is littered with people walking their damn 
dog. We also have air conditioners for your home or office. I can hold 80 Lincoln Head pennies in my mouth, you idiot. Come on by this Saturday, and the kids get free balloons and a chance to sit on Crazy Leo's lap. In my day, you danced with your pants on your head if you wanted to get a young girlie's attention. Whoa, easy there, Leo. That gown's open in the back. We're over here in Merkin Market Square, right next door to Mad Manny's Mattress World. Right, Mad Manny? F*** you. Whoa, that Manny sure is mad, and Leo sure is crazy. How come everything tastes like jello to me, gravy boy? He's short and squat with thinning hair, protruding gut and derriere. He's got no neck, it's just not there. Tonight on the Nature Channel, don't miss part two of the critically acclaimed documentary, Ducks. Part two of Ducks, tonight at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, only on the Nature Channel. Tonight on Investigative Coffee. Until recently, this sleepy Ohio town was primarily known as a test market for Olestra products. Now, religious fanatics are making a pilgrimage here to witness the miraculous weeping anus. I, I was just watching TV, and I felt a, a rumbling in my gut. I tried to make it to the toilet, but well, there it was. It's beautiful. I think it's a sign from God. There are no words to describe this man's wondrous anus, blessed by our Holy Savior. But is it really a sign from God? I've been here for three days, and the anus seems to weep at regular intervals. But they're almost too regular. I actually bottled some of the tears of the anus. And quite frankly, they have no healing properties. I'm, I'm just a guy who likes eating chips and, and watching TV. The Ohio weeping anus. God's miracle or Satan's curse. Tonight.